<laughs> you can just there tell them not to play. Just, I like obviously the commentators are the most important. Aspect wait, 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 here. wait! Hold up, bracket players, stop! Waldo wants <laughs> wait, to no, motion no, no, no. at the no, camera. No, 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 no. So, actually, don't say that. They might listen to you because they hear Deal. you. Say that. <laughs> Imagine, whoa, 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 bro. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hey, Waldo got something to say. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I got something to say. Cree stab, your butt smelly. Anyway, uh... <laughs> not going to question that one as we get into this game. One. I'm very curious to see how this tough, goes right, huh? for sure. Of course, this one. Probably, I'd expect Miraman Nozzy Rose to be probably the expected one, as I said. But anything can, anything can happen, man. I do remember a pin and icon is a very nice coordination to tell you with their game versus uh, Pug and uh, Troco being very having a lot of game plan to down with this uh, Tom and Jerry. They'll put on so much chip damage. Right now, though, the, both uh, Miraman and Rose Jade doing a very good job of just staying elusive and just not being caught by too many of them. And that's what's going to be most important here with the Tom and Jerry throwing around, throwing around their projectiles. And then on top of it, too, you have Jake just charging in on the on his horsey or charging <laughs> in as a horsey, depending on if you want to be particular about it. Right. Uh, but I was correct saying that Rose AJ was going to be on this helmet and he's starting out explosively getting Dude. bitch slapped that cat down to the blast zone. Get out of my face. Well, the missile almost kills Pin too, but not quite though. Also, I love just the use of that save too. Capitalizing off that perfectly was Rose J. That was very much sick, dude. I gotta be honest, man. That missile has so much knockback. Like, it, like it, you don't I think it would hit three. that hard, and it does. That's a big yeah. missile. Of course, I would think it hits hard. Jeez. Uh huh? Oh no, I'm talking Ooh. about. I'm talking about. I thought you were talking about Tom and Jerry missile. Oh, my fault. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, they both got missiles. Yeah, Blackmore. God. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> God. Um, Waldo's so aggressive right now, but Mirror Man and Rose J, though, even more aggressive, put on so much damage on the opposing team, man. And we got to, I got to point it out to what's also been kind of a problem here. Uh, they have, Mirror Man and Rose J have a perk where if they land projectiles, they get. 10 gray, or they get like a gray health for every projectile yeah. they land. That's kind of been proving a problem because right now, mm -hmm. uh, Icon and, and Pin, before they're able to actually do percents, they're having to chip through this gray damage, which, yeah. or gray health, which gray health is so uh, aggressive. Right. Or it's just so hard to deal with. This substantially just limits the DPS they can put out. Meanwhile, of course, uh, Mirror Man and Rose are just uncontested. It's the damage they're putting out, but they do spike Mirror Man away. <laughs> Does even matter though, still gets the kill. And Mirror Man and Rose J take that game one. Rose J with the uh, Rose J with the Velma. Went full Karen, pulled out the megaphone, and said, Get me your manager. <laughs> I can definitely see Velma do that for sure. But now, nah, good stuff to Mirror Man and Rose AJ, man. Of course, the coordination getting these kills was very much impressive. I love a lot of the projectile play I was seeing from Mirror Man as well. He just makes very great use of Bugs' abilities. I'm very biased because I play a character, of course, but I've seen a lot of the movement in and out the tunnel, a lot of missile shenanigans, safes going everywhere, dude. It was crazy. I really do love his rabbit hole usage, plus the, the symmetry, like you were mentioning. Or... Uh the chemistry between the rabbit hole and those items uh, mm -hmm. really something to behold he uses it really effectively um and uh yeah, we also definitely. see i don't know if it's banned in this tournament but uh we also see the the missile the double missile uh glitch not being used um i i think mirror man mirror man doesn't use it because he calls any bugs bunny who uses that weenies flat out which you are a weenie if you use it um but still man that missile does so much work that's a big missile like you were saying but talking about big missiles tom and jerry also has a missile of their own we got the little jerry missile that has a lot of knockback deceiving amounts of knockback um but we're going to be going right into this game to maybe we'll get to see the jerry missile come out i don't think we saw it last game not a move that we see tom and jerry is or high level tom and jerry's go for because it does uh root you to the yeah. ground 
So you gotta be careful how you use it. Right. I like immediately to see Rose AJ putting so much damage on with the the let's solve this mystery booster, as well as just putting so much the hogging missiles on him, put so much pressure on they just pod dog piling onto Icon and just takes the stock so fully off of him, dude. <laughs> These stocks are, stocks are going so quick. Rose J, Rose J, and Mirror Man are just working so well with each other. We can already see Pin at 102. Maybe get will get reversed here. Not quite. Yeah, this is so scary. When I ever see one of those get me well, dude. Oh no. Oh wow, oh, Pin. Dying, he does right there. Put so much pressure on all those uh, word oh, missiles, dude. So much work. Great, they put so much work on to, to high high and pin. This might be a four stock here right Wait, now. Pin, so pin what are you doing? Get away from there. It's dangerous. Yeah, Pin is in a very precarious spot right there for sure, but does uh, manage to stay safe right now. But he's flirting with this ledge a little bit too much. Mirror Man try to take advantage of that. Try to bear him off the top. Not quite. Oh, Mirror Man at 104%, Ro Rose AJ at 109%. They are very healthy. We're seeing if they can get these stocks quick, it's not out of the... It's not out of pocket to say that they could potentially bring this back, but they have to get these stocks now. Absolutely. And Mirror Man and Rose AJ, no easy players to get stocks off on, of course. They just make these most of these stocks, bro. They're just making them last, bro. Sometimes they just feel unkillable. Not right there, they're not unkillable. Gates an axe to the face is finally gonna get that first stock. Now we can see we can see Pin going for Rose J trying to get that stock, not able oh, to word fight missiles it. On Pin. Not quite hitting, good dodges. I really love uh, Rose J's usage of megaphone. We see him using it as a bit of a stall tool, um, but then also dodging out of it, continuing to use it. Really good usage like we're seeing right there. Boy, well, sent at the wall right now too. The projectiles put so much chip damage on him. <laughs> That's it. And go straight to the bottom blast zone as the game two is also in Mirror Man and Rose AJ's favor. My man Cleveland never played Legend of Zelda because he was always alone. <laughs> <laughs> always alone on those left and right sides, man. And he got caught out. Yeah. Like two or three, like two times it happened. Mm -hmm. Where he just got called out. It almost got called out for the third time there, like uh, earlier on in the in the game. Right. I but, think just a big difference between both these teams play is that Mirror Man and Rose AJ are just very good at collapsing onto each other. Even though they look split up a lot of times, they're still like prepared, you know, get those socks off when they see an opening. Meanwhile, Pin and Icon, they sort of just got their teamwork disrupt disrupted a lot of time by Mirror Man and Rose AJ. Definitely. And one thing we saw there from Rose AJ uh, on that Velma is Velma has kind of two different play styles in her kit. She has the, I'm going to run at you until you friggin' die <clears throat> idea. Mm -hmm. um, but then she also has, I'm going to sit back and camp and you can't do anything about it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So the, the two very wildly different play styles uh, within her kit. Both work very effectively. See, it's no wonder she's the best doubles character because she is a character that can take care of herself and also support her teammate at the same mm -hmm. time. It's also just so scary just playing as a camping version too, just because of those projectiles. She has a way to just make them lock onto you. So here they're at the top blast or something. It becomes so scary. I think we saw it a couple times that last game. Remember when she was fourth heaviest? Or like fourth or fifth? Yeah, man. <laughs> it makes sense. What Very do you much mean? No, it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Not nah, definitely a good change for sure. Come from this patch for sure. I you know, we're I, getting into this. I guess I, uh, situation. I can't expect anything more from someone who who thinks Street Fort's a fine stage. So. <laughs> oh man. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know what's not fine though? The fact that Pen's already at. Was at 40 damage? Oh man, Icon might be at no damage, about to lose that life. Yeah, Rose J. <laughs> Are Delhi fighting to send these spikes words? It's so scary at the ledge right now, bro. Precarious situations all around. But um, Icon take advantage of that, getting a little bit of chip damage off with the projectiles. Oh, Beer Man, though. You know, he was pressured by that missile. <laughs> Gets so much damage off. Oh my god, that was insane. Oh my god, the, the rabbit hole usage there was awesome from uh, Rose J and Mirror Man. And we're seeing it uh, play out in dividends there. 
Uh, but now Rose J kind of off to the side, able to recover pretty easily. Uh, each team is both at pretty high percents. This is the most Ooh. even game Pin and Icon have had since the set uh, yeah, began. One thing I'm noticing though from Icon is he's having a really hard time. Jeez. Jeez. Oh my god, I can't even finish a thought without something going off. Like right there, Mirror mm -hmm. just lost his stock. And there, Rose mm -hmm. just lost his stock. We're at a dead even game. Yeah, a lot more even both these stocks. These uh, sets have been preferred. You definitely just see that Icon's definitely just had more opportunities to sort of get his game set up right now. But Mirror Man currently trying to rush that down. 41%, 57%, popped off the cut with a missile. That was crazy. Do you see what he's doing? He's doing the degenerate strat of like just popping in out of the rabbit hole, up air, popping back in. Up I love it, dude. Side. I it's a such a good fan, strategy. Bro. Oh, but man, is it insane. And we're seeing this too. Uh, that snowflake above their icons, anytime they are hit with a projectile, it adds one stack of slow, mm -hmm. uh, which is absolutely insane. Slow in this game, when it is slow, when you are slowed, you are slowed. Yeah, like it is. It's egregious. It's a very good perk to have these projectile heavy characters right there. So unlike uh, Jake, for example, and just take a much much harder to use if he has the slow on it. Oh man, and that's game two. Oh, wow. Wow, dude. Is that a 3 0? Jeez, 3 0. All right. First you know, Rose, I, I said that. Man for Rose AJ. What's that? I said, sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you. You're good. I you're said good. it the first time. Velma said, Get me your manager. But then the manager came out, and she's like, Get me your manager's manager. <laughs> Flat out. <laughs> 